Hey, what is going on, Road Trippers? Road Trip Nate here. Once again, welcome back to the channel. I did not get any videos at Garden of the Gods. There's just too many people there. But I ended up taking a four mile hike. Which, which was fun. If, if y'all have not been to the Garden of the Gods, I would highly recommend it because the place is, it is such a beautiful place to go to. I mean, right at the foothills of the Rockies, you get all these rock formations. I did not get video footage, but I have pictures on my cam on my phone that eh, I'll try to but it was Garden Garden of the Gods is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been one of the most beautiful parks I've ever been in. Like I said, if you if if y'all get the chance to I would I would highly recommend going to Garden of the Gods. Just because it's that impressive of a place. Anyway, let me show you show you some pictures to this. Even though the pictures don't really do it justice, you have to be there to see it. We're gonna try to do a makeshift uh, picture collage here. All right, I don't, don't really know if you can see that all that well, but that's when you first get to the, get into the park. There's a big white rock formation. All the other rocks are red rock. This is a white rock formation. It's different than the rest of the rock formations in the park for some reason. All right, then there's some... Some of that red rock I was telling you about. There's another another view of it. And here's the back side of that white rock formation. And that's some more views of the red rock. Can't really see too much of it there, but a lot of pine trees, rock, little rock formation in the background. I think I was trying to get that. There's some more red rock. Good little view of the mountains in the background. That's the back side of the park. Here's another another view of the back side. Some more some more red rock. And it's a it says Garden of the Gods. Uh, it's a memorial plaque or something. Says the Garden of the Gods given to the city of Colorado Springs in the uh, by the children of Charles Elliot Perkins in fulfillment of his wish that it be kept forever free to the public. There's a good view of some red rock. But yeah, that was a quick recap of my 
my trip today to to Garden of the Gods. I did not make it to Pikes Peak because when I was leaving Garden of the Gods, I was going to go to the visitor center to maybe get a hat. Or Garden of the Gods, just some, you know, some little, you know, souvenir from Garden of the Gods. I thought about maybe getting a hat. The visitor center is closed right now, so I'm like, can't do that. Tonight's brew is a Denver made beer, which y'all have seen the last couple videos. Well, no. I've been having trouble, so I haven't had any. Here in Colorado, I haven't had any, any live streams. So, but, but yeah. Figured I'd go with a Colorado made Coors Light. Mm. Speaking of Colorado stuff, picked up some souvenirs today. Speaking of souvenirs, a nice little coffee cup. May have coffee in that when I get home. Probably the first cup I get. Got a Colorado shot glass, which will go great with my collection, and since came to Colorado friends, sweet little Colorado Springs t-shirt. Another magnet to put on my refrigerator. Since I was having problems the other day, yesterday, uploading, let's show y'all some. Some of what these views look like. Hey, those storms. Uh, Pike's Peak is still kind of scenery kind of looks like if y'all can see that just get a good view of the get a good view of the Rockies I wish Pikes Peak did not have a big cloud formation over it so you could all see just how tall Pikes Peak actually is over the rest of the mount over the rest of the mountains in this general vicinity but I tell you what though I, I could spend all day just staring at that scenery. I mean, I love the Rocky Mountains. I mean, just the sheer impressiveness of the of the Rockies. But that's a quick recap of the day. That I didn't get any videos, so I had so I, I got some pictures. So I figured I'd. Vaguely see them. Probably see, probably see Denver tomorrow. Maybe, maybe get a little video of uh, going through downtown Denver. Maybe get uh, my co-host Tim Crawford on some of my videos. 
his favorite team is the Denver Broncos. Might get that on video. Then I stop in and do a Coors Brewery tour. Because the brewery's open for touring. And then kind of work my way back through northern Kansas and maybe stay one night in Kansas City. And see what's going on downtown. See if, see if some of the bars are open back up at the Power and Light District. Maybe get a good video walking around there, walking around downtown Kansas City. But that's what my current plans are. I mean, and that's going to do it for this episode. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button after the video to stay notified on all my current and future whereabouts. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know you care. As always, you can visit my Patreon page, patreon.com at Rogue Trip Nate. If you feel like donating to this channel, every little bit helps and is much appreciated. But if not, hopefully you enjoyed this video and the many others that are to come. And drop the hammer. The vlog is over.